What is up, everybody, and welcome back to This is the Waypoint, the one show here on the Shared Screens Network where we talk all things Star Wars. And it's freaking Star Wars month. We've been having a blast. We had a, our May the 4th special, so j- go check that out. We had a Bad Batch series review, so j- go check that out. We got Phantom Menace retrospective coming up, so be sure to check that out. But today, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and bees, we're talking Tales of the Empire. And I'm so freaking excited. I'm joined by Alec, Brett, and making his return to the show, Aaron Roots 427. How y'all doing? The Empire, baby. (laughs) Hell yeah, man. All right. Uh, Let's just jump into it. We did did Tales of the Jedi way back in the day. Now we got Tales of the Empire. Slash Dooku Diaries. Slash Dooku Diaries. We also did (laughs) special (laughs) special episode Dooku Diaries. Two episodes covering all things Tales of the Jedi. Only one for Tales of the Empire. Um, and last time we split it up episode by episode, but I feel like this one's, uh, they structured it a little differently. We got our first half, all Morgan, Esbeth, uh, Elizabeth, Esbeth, Elsbeth focused. And then we got the second half, uh, focused on Baris. Barris, 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 Barista. Barista. <laughs> yeah, I don't know these. <laughs> I'm bad with Star Wars names, dude. But let's start first half. Morgan Elsbeth, and I want to start with Jim Tasty. Give me your thoughts, top down. Um, before I get into it, you know, we had May the Fourth, we had mm-hmm. Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> well, what's, what's today, Josh? Tales of the Sixth, dude. This should have been called freaking Tales of the Sith, man. Because as we know, you're a big Drake fan. <laughs> Stop. Stop. We can't do right. this. No. We can't take this over. <laughs> <laughs> this this bit cannot live on the show here. Um yeah, I, I I thought oh just overall with the whole show, I thought it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um uh with Morgan, yeah, it, it was she intrigued me the most just because like we knew the least about her. Right. Um uh, I probably liked her episodes better, I think, overall, even though there's elements of Barris's episodes that were awesome. Right. Um yeah, it was just cool to like see her devolve into the dark side, basically, and Barrett's mm. on the on the other end of that. Um, getting to see Thrawn was awesome, obviously. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, and then kind of getting that Mando connection and Ahsoka connection with Corvus too, like just oh, yeah. seeing that. So it was, um, yeah, it was awesome. And the animation, it's like getting even better. It's just getting better, and yeah. better. Oh yeah, we we talked about it uh, on our Bad Batch. We talk about it all the time. These shows drop, so how how much better it improves. We mentioned it on our Bad Batch review, but like watching it last night, I was like, dude, this is this is like borderline photorealistic. Like, like that Dathomir scene with Grievous and like just the lightsaber lighting him up. Oh, mm-hmm. come on, yeah, oh, cool. come on, yeah. Aaron, what were your thoughts on the on the Morgan part? Um, so I think I'm kind of the opposite of, of Brett on that one. I thought they were good episodes. I just, for, for me with this show, Morgan's story didn't really do it for me. Um, I, I was much more interested in, uh, Barisoffi's story just cause Mm. I think I know less about it. Cause you know, Josh, you and me, like you, you've just started Sherpa-ing me on my Clone Wars journey. So I don't really know a whole lot about that, which I might need some explaining on once we get to her parts. But I thought, you know, (laughs) I I wrote in my notes uh, for that first episode, fuck Dathomir, they deserved it, dude. (laughs) Freaking playing playing so much Jedi Fallen Order and running around on that nightmare planet. Mm, Fuck Dathomir, they deserved it. (laughs) Green is coded for that one, dude. (laughs) Take them out. Also, another thing I was confused on, they were like, the, the power of Dathomir is like gone or whatever. So Morgan's like tattoos and powers faded away. Why yeah. did that happen? But Marin's didn't. I would assume oh, like. She didn't have the tattoos. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. It, it, well, it's like what? The, like a Queen Bee thing, right? Like, so yeah. like Talzin had like a spell over everybody. Or yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I And I, I, I want to clarify too, like, because Barris's story is like still not finished after her episodes sure like whereas we already know where where morgan's gonna go and right you know so Mm -hmm. it was cool to like see that peppered in between kind of like with dooku a little bit even though that's for sure before so 
Yeah. Right. So, Alec, what are your thoughts on the on the Morgan part? I actually think I like those episodes a bit better myself. Um, yeah. Honestly, for me, I or one thing I just a little touch that I absolutely loved was the episode names for her part because it was yeah, all man. the the uh, the path of fear, the path of anger, the path of hate. Right. And I thought those, you know, especially having just seen Phantom Menace, you know, you right. got that iconic line of. Also, uh, yes. Speaking of Phantom Menace, Grievous straight up takes a line from Phantom Menace. He says, "Wipe them out, all of them," like the Emperor mm. did in Phantom Menace. Yeah, yeah. which is pretty crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just cool seeing um, just her. Like, I mean, again, just that scene in Dathomir was just you know her like the whole, like weird like scythe blade dagger things. Whatever. Yeah, those, those are, are cool. Um, and then. Uh, just seeing, uh, I guess, the different clans of Dathomir, too. It's like you really yeah, don't that see so. that too often. But, yeah. Um, and then just get that kind of like ro- her rise to power. Mm. Um, getting to see that connection with Thrawn about how basically right. like the guy was just going to come and take their resources. And it's like, he's like, no, I got I got plans for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm right there with you. I, I do think I like um, Barris's story, um, Barris's story a little bit more. But uh, Morgan's was still, like, incredible, right? And mm-hmm. uh, to get into it, right, that scene on Dathomir, dude. Oh, yeah. my God. I thought, like, you know, we hear about that in Fallen Order, and we see, like, I think maybe 30 seconds of it all in the actual Clone Wars show itself. But mm-hmm. to get it and start it out here, and Grievous is just such a fucking menace. I feel like we're, like, borderline Teradovsky grievous back at moments oh yeah like when he when he claws her by the chest and slams her down i was like dude where was this grievous in the movie man where was this right. grievous in revenge of the sith man what the hell why why was like an asthma attack yeah dude and he's yeah. no longer this like mustache twirling bad guy that uh that dave floney describes him as like mm. he's an actual badass here dude and when he's Shout out to the sound effect that actually was just right from Revenge of the Sith with the spinning lightsabers. Yeah, hitting the same moves, and then when she blocks him with his double saber, just the third arm, just fucking, oh, dude, I love oh, yeah. that shit Real so move. much. Real great yeah. move. Oh, yeah. Kind of Tarnikovsky s too, where he uses two for a minute and then he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. yeah. dude, a hundred percent. Four arms actually. Yeah, I I want more of this Grievous. Like I like this Grievous. Like. Tales God damn. Grievous. Tales of the Grievous, please. The love of God. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, yeah, no, it's really interesting uh, getting Morgan to interact with his other witch, the mountain witch clan or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? yeah. And they had a little bit more of a pacifist approach, right? Uh, they're not going to prepare for it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and shit like that. that. Whole, they don't, we don't bother them. They don't bother us. Yeah. Mentality. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which uh, I love, like I love her telling that one. Which, like, I buried my mom. You better be prepared to do that too, right? And in the end, it's the vice versa. You mm-hmm. know that which fall like mm-hmm. succumbs to Morgan's points, and uh, they start to get ready for a battle, and they're ambushed there, and the mom ends up uh, burying her daughter there. I like the that little that little switcheroo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I love the line. From that mom that was like essentially taking uh morgan in yeah and basically like it's like yeah we don't go seeking for a fight but that doesn't mean we're not ready right exactly and what's um what's her final words to morgan too she's like this is like you set yourself basically upon yeah this upon is the path. destiny you've chosen yeah something which, to that effect yeah yeah which then takes us like directly into the next episode her even more on that path and uh, I love just these brittle old white people all in this room going over all these all these high ranking officers of the empire, all these just douchebags. I yeah. love I love bad imperial officers. You just love to hate them, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I like that she's pitching she's pitching um, ships to them. And tell me if I'm wrong, we only ever see these ships in uh, in Rebels, right? Yeah, the Tide Defenders, right. Mm-hmm. Right, because uh, I, I was like, the yeah. ones that I think they had the shield generators, I believe. Yeah, oh, okay. hyperdrives. Yeah, all of that. 
I was hmm. gonna say I've definitely seen toys of them. Right, right. I like. Yeah. I was like, these look familiar, but I can't place it. They right, look like ones that would have been in like the X Wing like miniature game. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, uh, we don't see these in the movies. Like, where where do I know this from? And I was like, son of a bitch, it's it's Rebels. Yep, like mm-hmm. it's it's Rebels. We we've, we've seen these before. Oh my god, we're gonna get Thrawn. Which of course, like obvious if because mm-hmm. we know we know the outcome and. I do like that Thrawn has a little little talent, little talent manager, little talent recruiter right. kind of going out. Yeah, I love that dude. Mm-hmm. That dude was awesome. What are our thoughts on all this stuff going down here? It was interesting to uh, just like, like you said, like almost like a talent recruiter, like somebody mm-hmm. that's just going around like she. Because I didn't really like. I guess I didn't realize that she essentially designed the Tide Defender. Like right. that was her design that they ended up using in Rebels mm-hmm. and actually went fully on into pr- production on them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's like, I mean, that's just a government bureaucracy kind of thing using, you know, yeah. a little guy to, you know, so that way the big guy doesn't have to get his hands dirty doing the, the busy right. work. You know, you only send hit, you know, he only, the throne only goes out to actually like, Hey, you, you serious about this? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then like we mentioned too, like they're, they're, uh, the empire basically tells her like, yo, we're just going to take this from you. Like good yep. pitch. Cool. And all thanks for letting us uh, know. Corvus is, uh, is rich in, uh, resources. Mm-hmm. We're like, be prepared, be prepared. We're, we're fucking, we're, we're coming. coming. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. In which then Morgan, even like after the fact mentions, you're probably just going to take my design too. Like you were going to yeah. just screw me over. Very cool getting uh, getting to go to uh, her town on Corvus, like pre-Mando season two. Seeing it kind of flourish, the forest around it, the uh, plants off in the dis, like the um, industrial side kind of mm-hmm. like off in the distance. Like it looks, it looks peaceful. There's like a guard or two there. And then we juxtapose that with how we see it at the end of the episode. God damn, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, yeah. The other thing I was <laughs> interested in is because, like, I think I mentioned this in our May the Fourth special. Yeah. Uh, was the g- getting in kind of the I guess the origin of the Beskar spear, but you know she just right. she just had it. She just had yeah. it. Yeah. She just yeah. had it. Still, yeah. There's still even more we don't like three episodes. There's still more to learn about Morgan, right? There's still more books to write, more comics to do, like whatever. We still don't have it all fully laid out but even the the groundwork we did in the show my yeah. god dude, i just want to watch mando season two again right now let right? me tell you <laughs> at least yeah. that episode because that episode was so good yeah. so yeah cool. my my only like gripe with kind of the rest of the stuff we saw too is like no uh michael bean's character right like michael bean is kind of like her her right hand man oh in, yeah um, yeah yeah uh in the episode and what like when she goes to deal with uh with ahsoka like man like mando is stuck to deal with michael bean's character and he's just nowhere to be found here maybe he's a later hire after like this whole incident happened yeah yeah, yeah i could be like up security yeah, yeah i could i could see that being the case and like i don't know if it's just the art style but there were some of them who were like there's some characters off on the side who are i was like Okay, you kind of look like Michael Bean, mm-hmm. but not not fully. Like you mm-hmm. guys aren't committed. Right. To Where where's my man? Uh, well, and yeah, a little drop at the end of a little Bo-Katan distress call, dude. Which I yeah. I love that. Oh, I yeah. love that so much. Freaking stabs it with the spear, and she's like, "Nobody's coming, bitch." bitch. Yeah. yeah. Surprise! You're not getting Bo-Katan. You're getting fucking Ahsoka coming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Which also, uh, I love. You know, uh, we talk about it on our Mando episodes too, and uh, I love to hear the High Republic's just shit. You know, yeah. they're they're just they're just running the New Republic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The New Republic. I mean, the New Republic just doesn't know what they're doing. They roll up on on Morgan here, and they're like, "We expect you to just resign. Like, just hand it over, <laughs> please." <laughs> what? No wonder you guys like so easily got wiped out by the First Order, right? Like, you guys, yeah. 
You guys didn't set up anything. You guys every, barely did anything. Every big organization in Star Wars gets wiped out at some point. <laughs> yeah. Every single one. Yeah. And man, I can't think of a group more deserving than than the New Republic. <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah. said, you know, they didn't do their they didn't do their homework. Like Yeah. You don't know this lady's nasty, and then you bring like ten guards against like their fifty or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then we know I don't know, but like they don't like send like an army after yeah. him after they murder like an on a diplomatic envoy. No, yeah, they. Dude, if I was like the Empire or whatever, I would go overkill every time. I would send like <laughs> yeah a star destroyer to uh, destroy a person's house. I don't care. They're dying. You wipe out the smallest squad. I'm sending the death star to blow up. Absolutely, planet, dude. You know, just like, Oh, somebody like looked at me the wrong way in like the yeah. market. Yep. Dial up the death star lasers. Blow the planet. <laughs> yeah. dude. Which like, their whole planet. like we find out, um, in Mando season three, like they're like, they're not, capable of taking care of stuff they have cases on top of cases to go explore mm-hmm. which kind of makes sense why why ahsoka like on her own goes to visit like goes to visit this right yeah. she probably gets the tip from bo katan that you know a distress signal and looks into who who's more kind of running shit around there and figures out the thrawn connection herself um i feel like there's yeah there's still a little left to uh you know, kind of close the bridge, but for the most part, I thought we weaved it well together. And uh, like I said, I like that we're already kind of backtracking on new Disney Star Wars and filling in the gaps here. Oh, yeah. With a lot of this. But if we're all done with this, dude. Baris, we got it. We got it. I've, I've probably butchered this character so many times. Barris. 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 Offy. Barris Offy. <laughs> Aaron, as the resident non Clone Wars watcher. On this panel, let tell me what your thoughts were on this. I thought this was really cool. I mean, you know, I'm never not gonna pop whenever I see Fortress Inquisitorius, even if it's just like built oh, just yeah. a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like that that one yeah. shot they have, like before they cut into the cell of like the cool like red sunset with just like the little bit of it in the water. Like looks, it looks mm-hmm. so good. Yeah, man. Um, of, like teal they had too yeah. like, in the exterior shots. Yeah, mm-hmm. they 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 matched it. Uh, like on on like at least like the interior they match it to make it look more like the the interior on like the Obi Wan show, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Which was really cool. Like the like I I'm so interested as to what like her her story is like why she ended up where she did. I looked like a I I, I did a little bit of digging, but I didn't go like mm-hmm. super in depth. But she, did she like frame Ahsoka? Is that what happened? You can spoil I, it for me. I don't care. Uh, yes, she. I can't yeah. remember what she does to like bombs set up. something like the temple or whatever. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. She, like, I saw the word bomb somewhere, someone? but I was like, okay, this will show up in something I'm watching. I'm sure, but it's cool because she's just like in jail, and I'm like, okay, well, did she like full turn or did she like just get arrested or I don't know? But well, she she did something. Uh, it's been a while since <laughs> I watched Clone Wars. Um, I feel like Brett has the answer. Do you know? Yeah, how much do we want to like talk about it though? For Aaron? <laughs> I don't care. You can spoil it for me. I don't mind. Uh, for yeah, for the people that are watching. Yeah, yeah. She basically feels like the Jedi have lost her way, so she true. Which you know she's kind of correct in that, but the way she goes about it is not the best way. So mm-hmm. she's not full on dark side, but she doesn't align with the Jedi in that moment, and that's why she kind of gets the pass, right? Mm-hmm an opportunity and of course mm-hmm. like they're like hey man you want to join up or or what and the clones like cock their guns and it's like mm, what would i choose here yeah <laughs> yeah hey you want to be a bad guy with a lightsaber <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so. sure yeah by the way my favorite character in in the arc and all of it was uh lynn in this yes in this super cool drop. not barris mm-hmm. it was lynn she was yeah like, she was cool did anyone was, else think that she kind of looks exactly like david bowie a little bit yeah no, she I looks like that. david bowie I to see me. that yeah i just thought she I, looked hot yeah. as hell <laughs> <My Spanish. man. laughs> the the scene where um like 
that one dude like leaves and then they go into the room to talk to him and they're like oh yeah your friend had an accident and they tossed his little chin gem on the ground i was like oh, oh shit yeah. dude if only he knew he just had to wear a trench coat he could have gotten out of there so easy <laughs> he right? snuck out yeah just throw a hat on and just walk out and then the the other part where like they're like oh yeah you've both like impressed us a lot but also throws the lightsaber down we only have room for one person i was yeah. like oh let's yeah. go dude yeah, it's man. yeah the inquisitors are so fascinating because like it it reinforces the idea with lynn and barris that like they knew each other there's some familiarity there right um and obviously like i wish I, it makes sense that he doesn't react really but like there's familiarity with vader and barris um mm. with the other recruits like they kind of knew about each other a, a little bit so that, yeah. and that's what's so like interesting about like that whole thing is like they all like our former Jedi, right? And right, yep. wh- like, why did those other two get like the, you know, pass that first round of interviews, right? Like, where mm-hmm. they instead they of just get... killing them, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's like, mm-hmm. well, I want to know more about them. And honestly, getting Jason Isaacs back as Grand Inquisitor, oh, yep. yeah, oh, uh, yeah, WW, mm-hmm. um, okay, no, man. Fa- no offense to um, the Cone Head guy and Obi Wan, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad, he, glad he's back in in, uh, in uh, Tales of the Empire. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, seeing the the little cameo appearance from that one Inquisitor from Tales of the Jedi was really cool too. He didn't say anything, but he was there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the one from the Ahsoka Dude, episodes. It made me mad because he's so he looks so cool and like I know, he, does. I know. he gets punk so hard. If they had not already, I even... wanted to make a figure of that guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, even even oh, yeah. uh, Maroc Maroc. Like Maroc, uh, yeah. He get he goes out like a punk in um, Ahsoka, but he mm-hmm. looks so cool. And and then again, you see him here this early in the like Inquisitor Inquisitorious, like mm-hmm. um, like the history of it. Um, mm-hmm. And it's like, man, like what, like how did he become an Inquisitor? Like what's yeah. his career there? Like you know, because clearly they can't all be punks, you know. So, right. Or, I. You got to think that these are like some of the earlier, earliest inquisitors. Like, I mean, they seriously got Barris like right. I mean, as Order sixty six is happening. Yeah, my yeah, my read on it was like this is like, uh, in sports terms, it's like the first lineup. You know, this is yep. the first lineup yep. of uh, this is this is spring training right now. <laughs> yeah, well, yep. yeah. Well, because like games before opening night, mm-hmm. and um, I think it's in the, some of the Vader comics, like. Vader meets some of the Inquisitors, but they're on Coruscant, right? right. So they take they take the new ones to uh, Fortress Inquisitorius on Nur to like, yeah. break them, and then yeah. I think their base is on Coruscant, right? Um, yeah, as that fortress is getting built. Yeah. Fortress is so fucking cool, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but I definitely like um, like Harley Mornstein, the creator of Epic Meal Time, has this great you know last jedi defense video which really turned me around on on last jedi but he, like up. uh in it um in it he's like don't worry if you don't get snoke like don't worry if snoke is dead uh, and went out like a bitch you're gonna get more snoke shit there you're always gonna get more snoke shit fucking boba fett got punked and he's the most popular star wars character right mm-hmm. now like i try to subscribe to that mentality a lot more like if, if there's a character who's you know gone in two episodes three episodes or like even a darth single maul. episode like darth maul yeah a hundred percent just like darth maul no matter if he gets punked early on you mm-hmm. always gotta know he's gonna show back up and like tales of the empire was a sign for me it's like yeah Maroc and this awesome badass dude that we saw for all of four minutes in tale of the in tales of the jedi they're already back like we are we are gonna get more of them for sure and i loved like i know it's like they just walked into the room at the end of the at the end of the ceremony there, the graduation hasting mm-hmm. ceremony for this frat, you know. But uh, I love that they like already we're starting to see them have cameos. Tales of the Inquisitors, boom, boom. right in, ship it, done deal, yeah, yeah dude. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess we covered a lot of that first episode, but uh, that second, you know, going on, I loved, yeah, seeing Lynn and uh, Barris on a mission hunting Jedi together and Lynn just has no fucking chill. You know, I like that Dude. relentless. <laughs> yeah. They almost <laughs> that, found a good cop at bad cop at 
Yeah, for... that that scene was so cool cuz it was like it was like in um Infinity War when Thanos kills all Gamora's people. They're just like, "No, yeah. don't look over there." <laughs> just, <Right>. ah! <laughs> murdering everybody and freaking throwing an arcade machine against the door. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah, everyone you, up. You lied to me, right? Um or whatever and like she has to you like, gave me your word yes dude yeah that's the one you did lie he did speak lie. louder man yeah he's like okay how about this motherfucker yeah and, yes. and uh, um go for it brett oh yeah like seeing the dichotomy between um lynn who is like that you know imperial that like is just wanton you know anger and destruction where mm-hmm. um you know, with Barris, like she kind of does believe in the cause a little bit, but only right. in terms of like the order um, and, and control that that she felt like the Jedi had lost their way with a little bit. Yeah. Um, and uh, but yeah, dude, like she just like Lynn just went ham, <laughs> dude, for, for like yeah, I don't know, like, like ballistic, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like it was, yeah. And then like the the duel at the top of the mountain was mm-hmm. like. It was pretty cool. I, I liked. It. I don't even know mm-hmm. who that Jedi is. I thought it was a dude, and then my friend was like, "It's a girl." I don't. I don't even know. But wait, really? Um, I didn't get that. I didn't. What? I didn't get that either. No, I don't and know then, if it, I don't know if they're a guy or a girl. Uh, I didn't get that either. And then they didn't use like any specific. Um, like I think they just said they. Like they're well, like, oh, they're down. You know, like mm-hmm. don't worry. Yeah. They're, 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 Blue lightsaber. It's a boy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And Clay said, "Where's the gender reveal?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, no, getting Barris and uh, a lot of like Clone Wars. Yeah, you do understand. Like, you kind of get the sense that she's looking to round up Jedi and take them back to Coruscant. Like, kind of be honest with them, right? And and uh, st- you know, set them straight. Versus Lynn is like, "I'm here for blood and blood only." Mm-hmm. Yep, right. Which, uh, yeah, I do. I do like that confrontation uh, at the end of it. Now, although we know Lynn survives, I do. I I liked her getting punched. Which I'm just surprised. Like, how do you? F- I know, like, there's the force is a thing and all that, but you fall like all the way down a mountain like that. I mean, Darth Maul got cut in half and fucking fell down an exhaust pipe, and he came back with yeah. spider legs. People are, true, people are getting true. stabbed clean through their midsections and are surviving these days. So yeah. you know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah. Let's. I mean, that would be nice to just survive what would, but like three, four hundred foot drop and be fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's awesome. awesome. She that's could. What, yeah, she could have grabbed onto the mountain like Barris did when they were yeah. climbing up. I don't know. True. True. That's why the my thing? boy Tech is still alive. <laughs> yeah, no. He ain't your boy. You don't get a claim. <laughs> <on>. the, the, <laughs> we, have, we have receipts. We have receipts. The, the thing that that tripped Judge. me up so much was that that last episode, and she's like. Uh, she's carrying Barris out, and then it just ends. And I was like, "What? What? Yeah. What happens now?" Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Going going forward to that last that last episode, um, I like that. Yeah, she gave up uh, being an inquisitor and is more. Um, she's like kind of she's kind of on the path, but we don't officially know that she's one hundred percent a member of the path, but um. The healer, the healer, yes. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I like that. And, uh, With her cool haircut, little snow armadillo person. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I, got dude, a, dude, I got it written dude, in my like, snow badger, man. Dude, that's that part kind of cracked me up because it's like, all right, you're just gonna like lay face first into the snow for yeah. however long until <laughs> just pop up comes in front by. of people who have a blaster. You don't know if they're yeah. trigger happy or not. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. Hey, what you guys yeah. doing? <laughs> <Dot>. <laughs> Um, it, which was cool with Barris being the healer because, like, uh, it's kind of a reference to that Jedi healer book from Legends, right? Where she's got like a hood on, like it, it's that old like Legends cover art where it's like kind of like, like the uh, well, Kelvin filter, that old Instagram filter, like, mm-hmm. yeah, where she's like healing a clone trooper. Um, so that was like, kind of a cool little nod to that. And notice how she looked older, like she looked oh, yeah. older. The uh, yeah, pulls on her pets. face. Because, uh, um, from Rise of Skywalker, um, great, movie. yeah, 100% great, fantastic movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it, uh, we don't see Lynn's death in 
Kenobi, right? Like we, she's in Kenobi, but we don't get much of her. Is that correct? Yeah, I but this, I feel like that's before this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I feel like um, mm. because the events are kind of immediately after Revenge of the Sith, she looks like you know at least twenty she years. She was in Kenobi. Hot damn. Yeah. yeah, she like had Fourth like one sister. line or something. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, she looks like it looks like twenty years have passed. Oh, yeah. Um, we're kind of like I, I don't think the empire's fully fallen, but it's definitely we're pushing more towards mm-hmm. you know the uh, the like Return of the Jedi, mm-hmm. you know, section of the of the timeline. Um, and yeah, I, I like the whole confrontation with Lynn. The I was maze. Saying, coolest fight scene in this series. I think. Yeah. Um, Barris just hands behind the back, just dodge, 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 yeah. dodge. Doing her as a Grand Inquisitor taught her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She learned something. Yeah. Very Which, cool. Um, you know, she's like, uh, the Grand Inquisitor, you're holding your ba- uh you're holding back is making you weak or predictable. And yeah. uh like he says that to Barris and Barris re- you know, reflects that line back to Lynn. It's like your anger makes you predictable mm-hmm. and just punking on her, which this is some of my favorite shit in Star Wars. Oh, just yeah. like, just, you know, dodging and shit and just punking <laughs> people. Which the part where she's like, fear is my ally or whatever. And then later she's like, you know what they're going to do to me if I fail? And they're like, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Barris is like, well, fear sounds like it's not your ally, but your masters. And I was like, damn. Yeah, cold line. Got her. Yeah. Cold line. Such a cold yeah. line. Which, I, mean, I think we all were at, or saw Phantom Menace this past weekend, right? Yeah, I went yesterday. Like, yeah, so uh, they had the little tease of the acolyte, and it's like that just reminded me, that, you know, same thing with the the Jedi from oh, there, how she's just just like shit. gliding all over Dodging. the place, like yeah, with a against the little dagger, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, badass scene, dude. Um, and then yeah, I do like you know that they're they're kind of talking about the maze, but they're also talking about the Inquisitors as a whole, right? In terms of like, mm-hmm. there's no way out, and it's like, okay, this like she both means oh, the maze yes. and being being a Sith, right? And yeah. Barris is like, I'll, I'll help you together, which I also didn't see her getting right stabbed. Here. Yeah, you know, I'm right here. <laughs> that, that was like <laughs> a little like, all right, like for, for the first time, I you know. I, initially I thought she was like just talking through the force or something or whatever, or like, um, or just the way that maze is echoing, like she was at the entrance or something. But then she's like, fight like you're right behind her dude. When she's swinging her lightsaber like crazy, like you got, I wrote, I wrote that down in my notes too. I was like, that was kind of a, that was kind of a lame way to go out. It was almost like comical. It's like, it's like going to like the haunted mansion at Disneyland and if someone like appeared behind you and you just stabbed them for no reason, they're like, oh, oh, oh shit. I, like, I honestly, uh, well, I, don't know about I thought it was going to be like the first time we see Batman in Batman versus Superman, <laughs> where he's just like up in a corner, like kind of just, <laughs> and it, I thought that was going to be Barris, like uh, up on, me, uh, I kind of took it as like, you know, the, until like that last p- part. I think yeah. she was kind of farther behind. And then like when she really saw uh, Lynn f- like freaking out, she's just like, yeah. that's when she like appeared right there. It's like, Hey, I'm right yeah. here to help. Like I'm here. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, I do. I do also like that. They like, it, it's a little ambiguous um, whether or not she like bears survives. Like there's, there's room for it, but if not, I do <laughs> like that no matter what. Um, it's not lethal anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not lethal. Well, Lynn could just transfer her uh, life force into yep. Barris, dude. She just needs to tap into that potential. <laughs> Barris is a healer. She can just heal herself. Exactly, dude. True. Uh, just, just hold on to Lynn, then transfer the life force like yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember, remember in Rise of Skywalker when they play hot potato healing each other? <laughs> yeah, man, it's great. That's how they flirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's, that's called W Riz. You wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> um but uh yeah i i uh i like that uh no matter what lynn lynn is out of the empire um and now getting into overall thoughts like i i do i don't think uh tales of the empire is as well set up and as well as structured as tales of the Mm -hmm. jedi uh like like with tales of the jedi like we we saw two two different members of the order who questioned and left the order for different reasons. And, um, 
we kind of saw what pushed him to leave the order, right? Um, and then in the order and stuff like that, and their their struggles within the order, which you know again le- leads them to leaving it and questioning it. Um, versus here, I feel like we got Morgan who like hates the Senate, uh, or not the Senate, the Separatists because they rolled up on her planet and killed her, mm-hmm. uh, killed her family. And then she's like, you know what? You got the separatists became the empire. I'm just going to go join the empire now. You know, I want revenge, mm-hmm. revenge against who you're the, the well, team you're trying to join. Right. Well, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta remember like with all the hoops and stuff, like, you know, technically the empire was a Republic. So that's like the other side technically like, mm-hmm. right. So that's so, why she goes to them. So the separatists are then the rebellion. Like, I I don't know. I mean, kind no, of. I think the kind separatists of. are just kind of their own thing. Like they right. kind of like fizzled out. Yeah. Right. I would love a, a tales of like the the separatists or tales of the whatever. Just because like Nuke diaries, dude. Tales of Nuke Gunray. Because <laughs> like one of the coolest arcs from the Clone Wars is like the uh, you know separatist like Senate stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Because when you're when they're talking about like heroes on both sides and uh, Revenge of the Sith, you're like, evil is what? everywhere. You're yeah. like, what? Like the Jedi are awesome, and like the yeah. <laughs> Separatists are evil and stuff. And yeah, yeah. so I think That's that fine. could be cool. Yeah, you find out the Empire is only in it for the profits, just like Last Jedi. You know, awesome, awesome motif going all around here. Um, but yeah, no, you basically <laughs> see Morgan, you know, getting dro- indoctrinated uh, to the dark side. And, you know, deeper uh, aligned with the dark side. And then you see um, Matisse uh, get indoctrinated, but then she gets away. I guess that was the only kind of like through line for both stories. I don't feel like it was as, as right. strong as, as Jedi uh, overall a strong connection between the two. Yeah. Versus I, like Duke yeah. and Ahsoka, you had a strong connection. Go for it. Yeah. It feels, yeah. It feels like it's all, it all kind of connects in the way that you see, Dooku descend and then you yeah. see Morgan descend and then you see Ahsoka ascend in the way where she like re, re like rediscovers her purpose. Um, yeah. and also with, uh, Varys where she rediscovers like yeah. her purpose in terms of like being a Jedi or fighting for good. So right. it feels like it all kind of connects in that way. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Aaron, overall impressions, overall thoughts. Um, I, I liked it. Uh, I don't think I liked it as much as Tales of the Jedi. Um, right. But I think I think that could have also had something to do with I don't know these characters as much because I haven't been exposed to them as much as, you know, say like a Dooku or an Ahsoka. Right. Um, I do hope that they keep doing these, though, because I would love like a like a Tales of the Rebellion or yeah. I don't know, like a Tales of the New Order or something like that or Tales, Tales of, of the Sith even. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tales of the Resistance, that'd be very cool. Um uh, yeah. or Tales of the High Republic you could do. Yeah. Um like you could do literally <laughs> anything. Are endless, yeah. 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 Alec yeah. overall overall yeah, thoughts. I'm very similar to I think Aaron and I'm well from what it sounds like kind of everybody here where it's like I think Jedi Tales of the Jedi definitely was a lot stronger of a mini series. Yeah. But I mean, you drop something on uh May May 4th. I'm going to watch it. I, just, I woke up, made some breakfast, and watched my Saturday morning cartoons. Like, well, come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 100%. Still enjoyable, but no Tales of the Jedi, for sure. Uh, Brett, overall thoughts? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to say, with Tales of Resistance, you can tell you know a story about all the six Resistance members at the end of Last Jedi. Yeah, man. You could basically have you know Finn Katarn. Finn becomes the new cop. <laughs> no way, dude! You can do you can do the story of how Poe's mom and dad met on Endor after Return of the Jedi and banged and made Poe. Hell yeah! Under man. the Force tree or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, overall, I, I I liked it. Um, I think each character had uh like cool moments or just like visually or whatever like cool references. Um, yeah, I don't know, like structuring it the way they structured it, if i preferred it over this over like uh tales of the jedi right so i think with tales of the jedi i just watched like each characters are like episodes in a row anyways so um yeah I, I think i agree with you guys like 
because and and I, I know I meme about it, but I think like the Dooku episodes were like far and away the best. They're peak um, Dooku. Like that is the most absolutely that character has yeah. ever been. They definitely yeah. made me do the maybe I treated you too harshly <laughs> yeah. with Dooku. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. He so, so he was so affected and torn up by Qui Gon's death. Like it was really, really good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why like they weren't able to reach those heights. I don't again, I don't know if like because Dooku's like more of a main character than mm-hmm. um Morgan or Barris, but um it was so great and yeah, like we already talked about it a little bit, just like the possibilities of like tales of whatever, you know. Yeah. Tales of the diners, you know, like a little Yeah, man. Jack little Jack. Your little Jack's. Jack's. Yeah. <laughs> they should I think it'd be cool if they did a if they did a season where it's still the two like stories. But yeah. three of them are Anakin Skywalker and three of them are Darth Vader. Ooh, 100%. Yeah. Or yeah. you or do one of Darth Maul like when he's getting indoctrinated into the Sith teachings. That'd be right. really cool too. Tales yeah. Tales of the Force Ghosts. And <laughs> um, Anakin's <laughs> yelling at Kylo Ren, but he Tales of the Knights of Ren, dude. <laughs> that would be cool too. Yeah, yeah. that would be interesting. Yeah. Actually uh, give him something to do. Well, you see, you see the uh, um, you see the other angle of them standing on that hill and it's yeah <laughs> yeah uh, that's tales of the stormtroopers who can fly now we didn't uh think of like i don't know i mentioned this in a prior podcast but when tales of the jedi came out we never even thought of tales of the empire being yeah but now since they did tales of the empire just doors wide open they can do oh, yeah exactly yeah, and that... they can do more stories under the same name they can do more tales yeah. of the empire or tales oh, of the yeah. jedi also <laughs> right. but like you know Tales of the Rebellion and, you know, of the First Order and stuff like mm-hmm. that would be really cool, too. Yeah, I uh, I pitched it uh, last night on our um, on our Bad Batch episode, but, like, uh, there's still so much Clone War, like, Clone yeah. uh, Wars era stuff left up and uh, a lot of, you know, Clone War, uh, Clone storylines uh, left up where I would love Tales of the Clones. More Rex. Yeah, more Rex. We don't like no matter what TikTok tells you. Yeah, yeah. No matter what TikTok tells you, <laughs> Wait, what's TikTok Wars, telling you, dude. We were talking about it, uh, and people are acting like the Clone Wars cool. era is done. Like you know, oh. with the Bad Batch finale, we're never going back to it. That was the last. Literally, Clone Wars literally movie. unfinished plot now. threads. Unfinished plot threads. Hundred percent. And that that's what I was saying last night. I was like, dude, like uh, we don't know what happened to Cody. We, like we don't know we see wolf and rebels but we don't know how wolf defected from the empire we don't know what's going on with rex and his insurgents like there's a lot of, a lot there for tales like tales of the clones D- dude honestly though like tales of the bounty hunter would be yeah sweet. i was just gonna say that'd be so cool because they've already tales done of Moss that because they've, yeah. they, they've already done like legend stuff like that but and and, and you know where i'm going with this but like you know Bosk. people were hit Dude, he's farting, it, <laughs> farting everywhere, dude. Yeah, his fart gases uh, are noxious, dude. Dude, we were playing Battlefront last night, and like he was like one tapping our whole squad <laughs> with those yeah. gases, dude. Um, but um, like honestly, like Django Fett would be so cool because like yeah. you yeah. get you get such a little glimpse mm-hmm. of him, but like clearly he has like a lot of history there, and yeah. and dude, Dooku, especially like same thing, or like, even even Boba like post Attack of the Clones. Would yeah. be, like maybe uh, like a couple years after would be really cool. Yeah, it would be cool to do a canon story of how Django got selected because the bounty hunter game is pretty cool that. about that. Mm-hmm. Like, right. you know, maybe maybe uh, Dooku kind of did like the like um, what's it the box or whatever meeny, like some meeny, sort of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tales of the Fat. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I think that's that though. We're all in agreement. Uh, Tales of the Empire, rad as hell. No tales of the Jedi, and we all want to see a hell of a lot more from the Tales of series. So Disney, please cook him. Please keep it coming. Please. If, if if I get it every other year, I'm fine with that. That would be fantastic. Yeah, a little bit of that, but um, that'll do it for this episode here. We'll be back. Phantom Menace retrospective later in the month, and more Star Wars goodies on the Acolyte way. So- coming up. Acolyte Which coming team up are you? Team. Type it in the chat. Which team are you? <laughs> Which team are you? Yep. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And let us know what you thought of Tales of the Empire. Until then, see you at the next. This is the Waypoint. <laughs>